Let's try this again, this one. Hey, moron! Duh! Look, look, look at me! I'm the whole water boy, duh! <laughs> Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, this is not ESPN or any major network and everything. This is YouTube, where you have to do everything for the tube. And I keep forgetting because... Um, did our Father's Day edition of uh, our La Call-In Show. Um, this computer I have, my gaming computer here, is stretched out with all the capabilities that it can do. And so when I stream in somebody, I have to take this web camera off and use that separate. So I have to take it out of the software. When I reload it into the software, unfortunately, I got to remember to turn the volume off on it because you get the feedback on it. And so when I switch on that camera, that's what happens, unfortunately. And that's what happened this morning with the uh, broadcast. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this. So it's been, you know, it's silly season right now. It's silly season. There's so many things that are going on and so on. We're hearing that Trey Lance looks like the greatest quarterback of all time versus Trey Lance has got a long ways to go and needs to pick it up, depending on whom you're watching. So you don't really know what's what or who's who, but you trust the guys who actually are the insiders more than watching the clips of seeing Trey Lance throwing to a guy wide open and so forth. And, you know, we in here, of course, talking about. Because we sitting in here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, talking about listen, practice. we talking about practice. Well, we were talking about practice, but now we've got time to fill. And right now, things are not looking good for the Philadelphia Eagles. Things are kind of crazy right now. And when I came across this this morning, I, at first, I was like, this must be staged. This, you know, it's like, ha ha. Okay. So I started researching this to make sure, is this really legit? And you can look up Terrell um, Lewis, linebacker. He used to be a Rams player. He's, of course, now one of the Eagles linebackers. And apparently, he has been seeing or was seeing some of an Instagram, my fans lady of the evening i don't i don't know how this this was a track transactional piece and he ended up deciding i'm not gonna pay and left and got chased down by her if this were let's say this was overshown for the Cowboys you know this would be blown up on TMZ they'd have a TMZ special and everything else um, I don't want to uh, I mean it's it's been you know altered so it's not there I, I've got a couple of questions with this because one of the questions is is who's filming this second thing is bro you are in the public spotlight with a person who's got like 150,000 Instagram followers and who knows how many only fans, you know, doing something wrong could come back to bite you in the ass. Yeah. L look at this. So he is running away and she is literally chasing him, chasing him down the hallway. Chasing him down. So, yes, you could say they got linebacker problems on the Eagles. Look at, uh, look at that. Bam. Um, what's funny is there's West Coast Eagles, I think it is. Uh, he posted a video with this, and he's talking on it. And he's saying they need to immediately cut him and sign her. Cut him and sign her. So you've got that kind of dynamic going on. Okay, we, we, we've got it. Now you, you can all look it up. And, and this is where I wasn't sure. Oh, let's not stop it there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's stop it there. Um, you can look this all up and verify it yourself. But it's 
on Twitter. It's uh, you know you can look at just just look up Terrell Lewis, and you will see all this took place yesterday, which is kind of crazy that I'm just seeing it today. Again, if this were the Cowboys, this would be all over everything. But that's not the only issue. Um, you know, indiscretion. Okay, that's one thing. We'll see how they deal with it and stuff. They just got past, of course, the tampering issue as we sit here 80 days away from kickoff of the NFL season. We had Jalen Hurts talking about this 95% new offense that he's doing, where he didn't seem to be quite happy about that situation. And then we have now the Eagles front office that's not happy about the way he responded to Nick Sirianni, who a guy who they seem to have bitch slapped and thrown under the bus. You following all this? And here's where it's funny is the double talk that you get from my son, Philly 500, trying to basically say, oh, well, no, Philly 500 was actually protecting Nick Sirianni. Let's listen to this. And I really didn't talk about the details of what he said because I didn't. I don't think it's a big deal. I really don't think it's a big deal. And now we're getting reports that uh, there are front office people not happy about it. A uh, report: Jalen Hurts' handling of Nick Sirianni's questions disappointed several key figures in the Eagles organization. Um, and and to me, I think if they really feel that way. And they really think it was a bad, it was bad what he said. I think they totally misunderstood what was happening. They misunderstood. And, and, and here's what I here's what I mean. Um, here, this was the exact question that was asked to Jalen Hurts. Okay, uh, what have you noticed about Nick being open-minded to change up the offense like he has? What does that say about him? Those that's a, the exact wording. Okay, mm -hmm. and his exact wording was. Um, I mean, that's a great question, Hurt said. I don't know that I have an answer to it. Okay, so you're going, okay, well, he's avoiding the question. And yeah, he is avoiding the question. Because think about this. What, this is what they asked. What does it say about Nick Sirianni, uh, about him being open-minded to change up the <laughs> offense like he was? By asking Jalen Hurts that question, what they're saying to Jalen Hurts Really, and what Jalen Hurts is thinking in his mind, I don't know for sure, but this is what I think he's thinking. This is what I would be thinking. Um, Jalen Hurts is thinking, if I say yes, it shows how great Nick or how, long, how far Nick has come. Or whatever he says, if he admits to the fact that what? Nick is now open-minded to it, they're going to twist it. The media most likely will twist it and say, Jalen Hurts threw Nick Sirianni under the bus about last year. Nick Sirianni gets thrown under the bus. He gets bus thrown under the Jaylen bus. Hurts. There is nothing in Jalen Hurts' mind as he's hearing that question that he can think and, and say to himself, um, oh, I, I, they're, they're not setting me up for something. They, he's got to think that. And you can tell by his response. He goes, it's a great question. And then he goes, I don't know that I know how to answer it. Now, the reason he <laughs> says that is because he's thinking in his mind. And this okay. is what I believe Jalen Hurts is thinking. Uh, it's, it, it, no, it's it, not that. Saying, yeah, hey, he's man, he, he's doing a great job. We're, we're all getting along. We're thing. learning some new things. Going, and that's it. The media I don't know how to answer that. to make it about Jalen Hurts throwing Nick Sirianni under the bus. That's okay. what Jalen Hurts is thinking. All right? And then they... They come back and and they really follow it up, and then they say to to, to Jalen Hurts, "Well, what have you seen from him as far as doing that? Um, mm -hmm. You know, being more open." And then Hurts answered uh, slowly. They say as if he's searching for words. Of course, he was searching words because he's trying not to throw Nick under the bus. So then he says, um, "I think he's been great you think he in the messages." He's delivering to the team, the quarterback say, said, trying to be very intentional in what he was saying. Um, and by Jalen Hurts saying he, uh, he's been great in his messaging, his messaging and how he's delivering it to the team, 
He's trying not to throw Nick Sirianni under the bus. So the initial question is a question that Jalen Hurts, and I probably would have took it the same way as if I say something wrong or if I answer this openly, they're going to say I'm throwing the coach under the bus about last year and I'm blaming okay. it on him. Yep. That's why Jalen Hurts was hesitant in his response. And then the follow-up, as he has time to think about it and the, the questions kind of re-asked, <laughs> um, he says I love he's it. been very good about delivering messages to the team. So for us on the outside, we're looking at it going, oh, this that's a weak answer. He's, he, 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 he's not sticking up for Nick Sirianni. But in truth, if you really listen to the question and you put yourself in Jalen... I, I'm, I'm going to stop it right there. And what's funny is my main man, Game Time Brian, sent me Jacob Sports here where they literally are talking about the same thing. So not everything is perfect in Eagle Land. Let's... I think we're talking about here when they say several key figures inside... The several Eagle key figures. Oh, I think what start at the very top. Yeah. Um... They don't want this crap. <laughs> Jeffrey and Howie. Yeah, I, I, I mean. Oh, wow. So, as I was saying, <clears throat> I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just a YouTuber here. And I'm just trying to go through and bring you the sources that have this. This is not me making it up, okay? I'm going through where Philly 500 is in spin control. I'm going through on the internet and I'm seeing your linebacker being tra chased down by an OnlyFans model, okay? For skipping out on the bill. That ain't me making shit up. You got Jalen Hurts throwing the coach under the bus. And Jacob Sports, which has John McClain, who is an insider, is talking about this coming from the top that they don't like what you're doing to the coach who you cut off at the knees. I, I think I've got it right now. I think I've got it right now. So that's where we are, good people. So, you know, it is what it is. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Sorry about the original recording being messed up. This definitely bears watching, and I can't wait to bring this on to Wednesday's show. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys, and have a nice day. Welcome in, everybody, to Birds 365, a Monday edition, June 17th. I love it. Birds 365 is 80.